always check your audio kids what's up welcome back to part 33 of pokemon emerald last time i had the wrong my set so we're post commentating this uh i didn't review this video to see like what i do to better post commentate this so this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a toss in the air we're gonna see how it is um i will say in between the last episode and this um i did some training i got uh, what's his name? Blaze again, to level 54. Um, he's pretty useful for this playthrough or this this run through the Elite Four, just because he can take out essentially the first and the third Elite Four members single handedly. Um, he's not going to, but he basically could, so that's kind of useful. And then uh, who else? Uh, Breloom's pretty pretty useful for this. The Sharpedo originally, I was having some trouble with him. I think, yeah, here you're going to see me. I teach him Ice Beam. He's not a great special attacker, but Ice Beam is going to come in incredible handy, incredibly handy for the uh, fourth Elite Four member. So we're going to do that. And then um, Cap is actually the saving grace here, which uh, he'll go through a little bit of a, a move retool mid run. Um, but today we're just going to do the first two leaders. I figured splitting this up into multiple parts would be easier because in the event, that I lose to them, I could just start the episode over again and try again, as opposed to having to run through them all again, or I could run through them all again, like train, and then start back from where I left off. But uh, it actually happened that I beat all of them in one go, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm contemplating teaching Thunderbolt to, to uh, Manectric, just because it has a higher accuracy rate, which like in the Elite Four, is so much more useful than than having more damage but like a 75% chance of hitting like Thunder does. I will teach Brick Break to Blaziken just because his only other fighting move is um, Double Kick, which I found in training for this, Double Kick actually can take out some 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 of these guys like with the two hit or with two hits. But it's only 30 power, so you're looking at 60 damage, 60 60 base power, I guess. Um, Worst Brick Break 75, so it's like Brick Break is still going to be a better move. Though I am glad we put bulk up on him, just because having if you have the opportunity to buff up your moves, your attack and your defense, it's like such a win-win for uh, Blaziken. I was thinking about teaching Steel Wing to uh, Altaria here, but it's not really that useful. Um, I guess technically we could use it against the third gym leader, but... The third gym, or third lead four member is Ice, so I really wouldn't use Altaria at all. So but that's effectively all we're gonna do for now. Um, Earthquake could go on Altaria, could go on Branval for um, again not really useful. There's no one who is weak to that. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna hop right in. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. I uh, I recorded this all yesterday and then I realized that I wasn't recording with the right mic. I was like, why is the waveform look so small? I was like, oh, that's whatever. And I didn't plug the mic in. And it's like, usually my recording setup is just like the same. It's like the same. So oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Um, sorry, I'm like looking at stuff while I'm doing this. Uh, it's the same, like in the same spot. So it's just a matter of making sure everything's plugged in. Usually if it's plugged in, I'm like, oh, whatever. And uh, I had unplugged the mic. So, it's all good. This is interesting, though, because this gym, this Leaf Four member, he's all dark types. Um, he has a couple dual types. But you would think that, like, Mighty Eno with Intimidate, cutting your attack in half would be enough to, like, slow down a uh, one-hit KO. But nope. Uh, Breloom can take him out one shot. I think Breloom could also take out Absol here one shot. I'm just going to go with Brand, though, because he doesn't have the, the halved attack. One thing to note, and I think that's what's so interesting about the Elite Four, is that like, there's all these little things that can happen that can change the tone of the battle. So like, Elite Four members, they will switch their Pokemon out. Elite Four members have full restores. Elite Four members have Pokemon with moves that will do other things. Like, we'll see Toxic later in this run. We'll see, uh, I don't know if we'll see it, but there's Pokemon like with Recover. Um, in Absol's case, he has Pressure, the ability, which I think starting in Gen 4 maybe, if not later um the dialogue box will actually say 
whatever Pokemon it's like in this case, Absol is exerting its pressure to alert you to the fact that you're going to basically double your power point usage. Um, as opposed to just like, you know, move taking one PP, it takes two. Which is like important because if you're going up against Absol and you decide to use Blizzard, well, Blizzard only has five PP at its base level, so now you're down to three for the rest of the run. So uh, it's kind of nice that they updated that, but yeah, like, you have to watch out for stuff like that because Absol, let's say I miss, well, I just wasted four PP on, on Brick Break. And it's like, I don't have ether, so just something to keep in mind. But yeah, we run through Sydney really quickly. He, um, his dark types are fairly weak defensively, and his, um, his dual types, like, Crawdunk goes down with one thunder. Uh, who was the other one? He had another grass, dark shift tree, one blaze kick. Cacturn, he's not going down on one fly, but I did want to try to get Kirby some, uh, some experience here, because he's not really that useful. This is basically a run through with, like, four Pokemon. Breloom, Sharpedo, Blaziken, and Manetric. Kirby is just sort of background reassurance that you have somebody um, to swap out. And then Bonette is entirely useless. I don't think Bonette took out a single Pokemon in this run. Uh, it, it was like, it, it could withstand a couple attacks. Like, um, I think it survives a Surf later in this playthrough, or later in this run through. And that's nice because it gives me a chance to heal, but otherwise it's just, I picked it up so late and I didn't have a lot of time to train it and it, it doesn't have like the best defenses. And so it's just, it's going down in one hit, two hits and that's kind of useless, but I think that's like the only level that Curry here grows. So I think the amulet corn is on the metric. So the third and the Final, the third leaf form member, and the um, the the champion. I think we get double double money from, but everyone else, I don't think I use him. Yeah, yeah. I am glad to uh, be able to get back into this game. I was realizing, like, going through Pokemon Black, it's just kind of annoying because I had this outstanding game. Like, I had this one that just was sitting there, and so I figured. Let me finish the main story. I do want to do a lot of the post game, but let me finish the main story so that I'm like, that's done. And then we can go on, do the rest of the, at my leisure and, you know, figure out the rest from there. So, but this is Phoebe. I always say Phoebe looks like she should be in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like she got the hula skirt. That's what I was like. So in the original run through, I said she got the hula. And I was like, wait, what am I trying to say? The hula skirt. There you go. She has the, um, the, the flowers in her hair. Like, she, she's that flower child. She, she's cool. Uh, Dusclops is interesting because she has two of these, two Bonettes, and a Sableye. Everyone except for Sableye is weak to Dark-type moves, but Dusclops, or two Dusclops, will have Protect on them. I think both Dusclops have Protect, and they'll use it. And so that's another PP-wasting move. Um, they also have, I think her Bonettes might have grudge where they can like cast a grudge on you and then if they die um let me actually look it up phoebe gen three um i think they have grudge works like if they die then you end up losing most of your or you lose like a set number of um power points let me see here oh spite that's what's called not grudge um, yeah, so her level, one of her level 49 Bonettes, I'm not sure which one, has Spite, and so that will, what does Spite do? But it doesn't matter because we kill in one hit, so, but again, it's just one of those things to keep in mind. Oh, wait a second, no, 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 all right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. So Spite decreases a move's PP by 2 to 5. That's what it doesn't gen to, whatever. Um, in Ruby and Sapphire, she has a Bonnet with Spite. In Emerald, she has a Bonnet with Grudge. Now, that's what I thought. What's the difference here? Grudge. Oh, well, the user faints. As a direct... When, uh, yeah, when the user faints, the move that causes the user to faint will lose all his PP. So, again, just something to keep in mind. 
if you don't have ethers, that can basically mess up a run. Because like if I use Crunch on him, and he got off Crunch before me, it's like I'm just done with Crunch for the rest of the playthrough. Which admittedly, I think Crunch really only comes in handy here. I think we might see it on the fourth Elite Four member. Um, but yeah, it's just just something to keep in mind. Sableye's kind of the toughest Pokemon in this sense, though, because he doesn't have weaknesses. Uh, Ghost and Dark type, so Dark covers his Ghost type weakness. And Ghost covers his like bug type weakness and psychic type weakness that, or no, yeah, just bug type that um, Dark would be weak to. So it's kind of a good Pokemon in that sense, but it's also kind of trash because also why does this Dusclops have Ice Beam? Like I get it, special attack, whatever, but nothing that this that could damn it. Like Dusclops isn't weak to like Dragon types, so there's really no or like Ground types. So it's, like, it's not like it's covering a weakness, it's just like a, an assurance move, which is, again, kind of interesting. In case you happen to have like a flag on or something, like that, that fool's gonna get wrecked, but... Um, yeah, with Sableye, it's a single evolution of Pokemon, so it's not like really that useful, I guess, because it doesn't get those stat boosts, but... Uh, you know, it's all good. We're on our last Pokemon, so... I use Screech here because I wanted to just try to get him in one hit. I think... I think Nemo can under, can withstand an earthquake. Yeah, until Crunch should should kill him one shot. Thankfully, Sharpedo is a Dark type, so oh, it doesn't. That's crazy. Uh, Sharpedo is Dark type, so it can get it gets stabbed from Crunch, um, which is really useful. In addition to having like stab from Sir, so uh, it's also nice that these Elite Four members use Citrus Berries because a lot of times. If their Pokemon are slower, it works to their detriment because it brings them out of the full restore range as opposed to still being in the full restore range. Um, and just use your full restore and then you have to go through like whittling down their HP again. So, but I'm not sure how many full restores they have because at one point, I think with the fourth leader, uh, with the fourth member, I get them down to like or full restore range and he had used one and he just doesn't use another one which is like works for me but you know I always gotta be on the lookout for those but uh that's Phoebe she uh again I think it would be cool if we saw some of these folks return in um future games like they just it's kind of sad that a lot of these leaders and elite four members just like have this one off um Appearances. It's like it makes sense because like they they work in the region that they are in. But it would be cool if like they popped up, kind of like the way that um Cynthia pops up in. She's in another game. Is she in Black and White? She's in she's in some other game. But it's basically gonna do it for this uh, episode of Pokemon Emerald. Next time we're gonna come back, run through the next two Elite Four members, still be post commentated, and uh, try to get to the champion. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.